Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Sage 50, you can set up jobs for each client. You can then track income and expenses for jobs, including payroll hours or amounts. There are advantages to using jobs. You can purchase items specifically for a job. When you invoice the client, you can bill them for the purchased items. You can also run several types of job reports. While all Sage 50 programs include jobs, the flexibility and additional features like phases and cost codes are only available in Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher. To set up a job in Sage 50 Premium Accounting, select Maintain, Job Costs, Jobs from the menu bar. In Sage 50 Pro Accounting, select Maintain Jobs from the menu bar. The Maintain Jobs window lets you set up jobs for customers. Let's look at the fields on the different tabs in this window. To create a new job, if needed, click the New button in the Windows toolbar. At the top of the window, enter a Job ID code into the Job ID field. Then enter a Job Description into the Description field. Then enter the actual start date of the job into the Start Date field. You can then enter a projected end date for the job into the projected end date field. After completing the job, enter the actual end date into the actual end date field for reporting purposes. Use the Job Status drop-down to select the current job status. On the General tab, enter the supervisor for the job into the supervisor field if applicable. Select the ID of the customer for whom you are performing the job from the For Customer field. Enter the job address information into the fields available. Enter the job type into the job type field. Job types give you a way to classify jobs for reporting purposes. Enter the job's purchase order number from the customer into the PO number field if applicable. As you complete the job, you can return to this screen to indicate what percentage of the job is complete in the percent complete field. Notice that there is also a button for beginning balances for the job if you need to enter jobs when initially creating your company file. Then enter the custom field values for jobs you created within the Jobs Defaults window. Next, click the Estimated Expenses and Revenue tab to enter the estimated expenses and revenues from this job. If you've created phases or cost codes and want to enter expenses and revenues for the job by phases or cost codes, then check the Use Phases to Track Job in More Detail checkbox under the Description field at the top of the window. Then click into the Phase ID column that appears and select the name of a job phase from the drop-down menu. If using cost codes, you can then select a cost code for that phase from the Cost Code ID column to the right of the phase ID for that same row. You can then enter the number of units, expenses, and revenues that you expect to attribute to the selected phase and or cost code. Repeat this process in the next row until you've entered all the necessary phases and or cost codes for the job and their associated units, expenses, and revenues. You can then enter any notes for the job into the Notes tab. To save the job when finished, click the Save button in the toolbar of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.